Uganda's only international airport of Entebbe is currently undergoing expansion, an infrastructure project that is expected to cost 676 billion shillings funded by the government of China and ahead of safety and security audits due on the facility by the international regulatory bodies, authorities at the Civil Aviation Authority insist that compliance with standards must be maintained. They will not even allow you to hide anything because they will demand. Before they come, they send you a list of things which you are to do, which they call the State Aviation Questionnaire. You indicate to them what you are doing, what is your scope, what are you doing? What are you mandated to do? And among others, Captain Mike Mokula, who through his Uganda Aviation School Limited, is now facing a standoff over licensing with the Civil Aviation Authority, argues that the regulator's conduct is sending off investors. Once you have investors uh, fleeing the country, um, those who would go into cargo, um, leaving the country and seeing that it is not a conducive environment, foreign direct investments, a direct injection of, our gro of growth of a nation. It, it applies and amplifies, it turbocharges our GDP growth. So when I raise these issues, it's because I think that they're imperative, they're very important. I'm a professional in this field. Citing audit reports from the International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO, on Uganda, the flight captain Mukula maintains that the aviation regulator lacks capacity to adequately undertake its oversight roles. Civil Aviation Authority needs to go through is what you call Total Quality Management, TQM. They also need to go into what you call um, Key Performance Indicators, the KPIs. No modern organization can work without KPIs. No modern organization can carry out its functions effectively, especially regulatory, if you don't have ability on manpower inside. Currently, the Entebbe facility handles 1.5 million passengers, both in and outbound, moved by 18 international airlines. Ingrid Nantege, NTV Business.